Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can transform a long list of daily transactions and with a few mouse clicks, turn that into a summary report. We'll use a pivot table to summarize that long list of daily transactions by month, by quarter, and by year. All right, let's get started. Here is our list of daily transactions. Let's use the keyboard shortcut control down arrow to see how long our list is. We have 732 days of daily transactions. Okay, with one cell in the data set selected, come up to the insert tab of the ribbon, choose pivot table. We're going to take all of the defaults for a pivot table. So we have a pivot table that's going to be created in a brand new worksheet. We have two fields. When we select date, it gets automatically added to the row labels drop down area. When we select amount, it gets automatically dropped into the values drop down area and it uses the subtotal for sum. Now here is the gotcha step. What we want to do is select just one cell inside the date, not the entire date and the subtotal, just one cell in the date. Now we can either right mouse click or come up here onto the pivot table tools options and we want to group not the selection but we want to group the field. So we can either do that or right mouse click and say group. We're grouping the field and we want to group it by months, quarters, and years. So hold down control as you select quarters and years. Click OK. <laughs> there you go. How easy is that? Now imagine trying to do that without the magic of a pivot table. So we have our summary by year, by quarter, and by month. Now notice that over here in our pivot table field list we have two new fields, years and quarters, that are added. So that means that I could put the years, for example, over here into the column area. Now there are a couple of refinements that I want to work on. The date field was our original field. So if we come back here into our daily transactions, our original field was date. But in the pivot table, this really is the month. So what I want to do is change the label for this from date to month. All I have to do is just click on it and I can choose the field settings and I'm going to change that date to month. So I'm just going to change the label. So now that field is called month. Now it's much easier to work with. And here is our simple little report and a couple other things I would probably want to do. If I want to get rid of sum of amount, I click on it, right mouse click, pivot tape of, of value field settings, and let's change this over here to total revenue. And let's also change the number. So let's come over here and right mouse click any number. And we once again, we use value field settings. Let's change the number format. Let's make it currency with zero decimal places. And I think one more change. Let's get rid of the grand totals here for the rows. So on pivot table tools on options, come over here into the options and let's come over here to the totals and filters and let's remove the show grand totals for the row. Click OK and there you go. We have with just a few mouse clicks a nice neat summary report. Which would you rather present to your boss? This pivot table summary report or a data dump? All right, so there you've seen how to take advantage of pivot tables. Take advantage of the grouping function to be able to take a long list of data and with a few mouse clicks turn it into information that you can use. And I'll see you in the next lesson.